Uh, a useful online compiler for C++ is online gdb.com online C++ compiler. When we go in there, um, it's quite a practical, easy to implement uh, compiler. Just load in the code and run and we get some output. Um, and it doesn't involve uh, setting up header files and source files and so on. So if you have C++ uh, code in a single script and you want a fast implementation then the online compiler is uh, very practical. Uh, one of example of this would be using um, uh, for mortgage calculations I have some code and I'll find that now. Okay so I have um, at the following and I'll leave this link below um, a Word document with some C++ uh, code for running a mortgage uh, estimation and also to load in um, uh, an amortization schedule and this code I originally took from Andy James Duncan WordPress 2003 and I think that's still live and um, so um, with a one or small uh, minor modification so if we take this code and just copy and again the raw data that we're inputting in so I just copy this but the raw data that I'm using to generate the mortgage the monthly mortgage repayment is that the payment in the mortgage per annum is 12 times a year so monthly and the principal uh, is 120,000 and the interest rate is 5% and we're assuming that the term is 30 years okay so let's go back into the compiler and we'll just delete out this code and we'll paste and we can beautify and that'll basically just put in the proper indentation so where we have these curly brackets uh, we can get those to line up now we can do that if we want um, and it does make the code look a little bit better. One thing I probably need to be careful here of is just to make sure I have the double slash forward slash symbol put in so that this is not writ uh, read as code. These three lines here are just purely where the uh, you can access Andy James Duncan's WordPress and otherwise I think we're good to go. So keep in mind um, we're looking at figuring out what the mortgage payment is, the payment uh, for uh, 120,000 uh, principal, so 120,000 euro mortgage, 5% interest rate cost, 30 year term and the payment is monthly. So let's run that and what we observe is the output which is a amortization schedule and we just pull up the screen here um, so the mortgage payment per month with these figures is 644 euros per month and then the initial interest uh, cost is 500 the principal uh, payment is 144 euros and so when you add these together we get this 644 now we'll just run it again because we had s initially when we had gone down we'd only gone as far as 85 periods but in um, in reality if you have 12 months per annum for 30 years that's 360 payments and we can just look at this a little bit to trace the dynamics the uh, bulk of the mortgage payment initially goes in interest and a small component goes on uh, writing down the principal so you're amortizing but amortizing slowly you're killing off the principal slowly and as we go through we can see that as you know we get to the 77 to 78 month more and more of the uh, payment is being gobbled up is uh, eating away the principal and less on interest and that goes on until we get to the end where virtually the last payment only a tiny component of the payment relates to interest and the the line share relates to writing down the principal so we get to zero 
again when we add um, the 2673 and the 641 that amount should sum to the 644 okay so these these amounts should sum to um, 644 if we take the sum of 499 and 144 um, it brings us back to the 644 so okay so that's a handy online um, tool that can be accessed and you can if you have a single script program small program ideal for running uh, on the compiler here and outputting uh, results and involves minimum use of resources also what's very attractive about this uh, online resource is that it is accessible from your phone or iPad or Android device so you don't need to run C++ code uh, it's just suffice to have your um, tablet and uh, you have the same functionality as uh, you might have let's say with a uh, a computer also attractive here is we've more than one uh, language available so if you've JavaScript or Python or C again from your iPad from your tablet this uh, code can be introduced and implemented and you get output